The new year obviously here, so has dry January, a common resolution that encourages people to just stop drinking alcohol for the month and start the new year maybe with a healthier lifestyle. And there is some proof about the benefits of putting a pause on drinking. New Center Maine's Hany Ashivi takes a closer look. Northern Light Mercy Hospital Dr. Chris Kleeman gave me a list of some of the benefits that come with having a dry January. And those include improved sleep, weight loss, more energy, better mood, you save money, and the list goes on. Dr. Kleeman explains how to turn your goals into a lifestyle. We take pride in the fact that we um, can take a month off and not have a dependence on, on something to make us feel better. A good time to re-examine your relationship with alcohol, how much you typically drink, and its effects on you to avoid ending up here. People with advanced liver disease see a dramatic improvement after they've quit. It can take up to six to nine months for the li liver to regenerate, but in general, the liver will regenerate and improve after you stop drinking alcohol. Dr. Kleeman has seen an increase in some of his patients developing cirrhosis and certain cancers linked to drinking alcohol. Especially breast cancer in women, uh, cancers of the upper GI tract, the larynx, the esophagus, um, and uh, even the colon. So quitting alcohol can have a lot of health benefits. Stephen Corman opened Vena's Fizz House with one goal in mind. A different environment where people can go that isn't coffee, tea, smoothies, fruit juices that were healthy. And so we created a mocktail bar. That once mocktail bar has now transformed into this space. Production, yeah. Where they make and ship their most popular pre-made mocktail recipes to every corner of the country. It's blackberries, oranges, some ginger powder, an organic cane and hot, organic honey. So it's already sweetened. Add hot water at home, give it a stir, and cheers. It tastes a lime ricky. Very piney, very sweet but delicious and healthy. And from the Maine woods. All natural ingredients. When that starts boiling, that's when we start unbottling. And an opportunity for people not to get their spirits down about avoiding alcohol. And I think a lot of people uh, find that a, a dry January leads to a dry February and March, uh, and uh, ultimately uh, an awareness that Perhaps they were drinking too much over the holidays or in years past, and they want to make a positive change for their health. Even though today is January 5th, it's not too late to cut off alcohol for a month. And if you do take on the challenge, make sure you do it with a friend or a family member to keep you in check. At Northern Light Mercy Hospital, Hannah Yeshivi, New Center, Maine.